Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and jazz time once again. And then, um, I'm kind of early on this. Um, I, I'm anticipating this being a fairly long cast. I do have a fair amount to cover. Um, and then, um, let me, let me just go right into the music, um, which is going to be Grog. I think that's, oh, Glog. Uh, Glog, G-O-L-G, Glog, um, Lord of the Fourth Wind. So it's technically it's dungeon synth, but it it kind of go it kind of goes in the realm of uh, fantasy. It, I want to say it's the kind of music you hear in a hear in like a kids RPG or a, a kid oriented kind of game. It just it kind of strikes me as that. Uh, I listen to about half. And I'm like, this stuff sounds pretty cool. You know, so so I figure I just went with it. I uh, did a copyright check on it like about an hour ago. It checked out. So I shouldn't be getting a copyright claim like a day after the, the check goes through, hopefully. So let me go ahead and get that going. But like I said, I've got a fair amount to cover. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, well, uh, today's stream was the usual. Um, this Darkest Dungeon, doing the uh, Butcher Circus DLC, that's that's the PvP component of this game. And then, um, also, um, and you're pro sorry if this sounds really wimpy, but you're probably gonna be, you're probably gonna hear me talking about this all throughout the cast. My uh, arm injury that I, that I got on Saturday, um, well, it's getting better today. I mean, or it's gotten better. Um, it's still kind of, still kind of sore, still kind of hurting, but not as bad as it was on Saturday. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do today is um, I, I grabbed a banana box, and um, I, if you guys can envision this, um, I placed it between my couch and my coffee table. Um, I stream and game while sitting on the floor. For those that don't know, so if you can envision this, again. Um, Putting it between my coffee table and couch and just resting my arm on it So um, otherwise if I didn't do that um, I would have to My arm would basically would basically dangle off the coffee table like using my mouse and stuff So again my uh, My elbow my right elbow is basically dangling wee 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 like uh, like in midair So and that's uh, putting strain on my whole arm bicep, tricep, forearm. So, yeah, like I said, it's putting strain on all that. So, I thought I'd grab, I thought I'd use a banana box to act as kind of a bridge between the two. Put my arm on it. Um, it, it kind of helped, but uh, it just, the, the banana box I used was, uh, was too high. Was actually at a higher level than my coffee table. So, what ended up happening is, uh, Instead of my elbow dangling below the level of the coffee table, now it's like hanging above it. But um, it got to where I was just, uh, I put my trackball mouse, and that's another thing too. Um, what I'm using is a trackball mouse. It's not a standard issue, like optical mouse. Like you you move the mouse pointer by moving the uh, moving a trackball that's on top of the mouse. So if you could envision that, um, so just putting my arm on the banana box. Oh, and I have the, I probably used an incorrect image technically. What you're seeing is not how I have it laying down. I have it laying on its side, so it's higher. So once again, see if you can envision that, it's actually higher than my coffee table. So now, instead of my elbow being below my coffee table, it's above the level, so my, um, my right arm is now angling downwards into the coffee table using my mouse. So, uh, it, so it, it's not as much of a strain, but it's still there. So, but eventually I got to where I just grabbed my trackball mouse, put it on the banana box, and just had my uh, arm kind of outstretched a little bit, kind of outstretched and just uh, gaming that way. So... So it's gonna be kind of back to the old drawing board on that one. I gotta find something that's that's basically exactly the same level as my coffee table. 
Ah, uh, but otherwise, for the for the game itself, again, it was all PvP. Um, I think um, I think I I went two I went two for seven, uh, two wins, seven losses, and most of those losses, just like I talked about yesterday, um, this time was actually worse. Um, I I started as a tier one novice in the upper left corner. Eventually, I made it to tier three apprentice. Well, I'm and like I said yesterday, this game has piss poor matchmaking. It's pitting me against people of the darkest category, like like they're like they're fucking masters. And then and I'll kind of explain a little bit, like I did yesterday, how the uh, how uh, the league system works. And I think um, there's actually two two sort of kind of stats. Um. There's a there's an actual word for it. I'll just call it your personal level. Um, whenever you whenever you gain a personal level, you'll unlock additional additional equipment slash accessories slash trinkets. I'm probably gonna be calling them one of those three names. But um, but every time you level up, you gain access to a di to two more of them. So. You can only imagine that by the time you get to the darkest tier, you've got a whole bunch of equipment unlocked, a lot more options. And uh, I think that also, whenever you win matches, um, I don't, it's, I think it's, okay, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to remember, I think if you get a, I don't, because I don't think, I think you need, you need like two or three wins to level up in the novice, in the novice category. Um, I think you need probably like three or four wins to advance in the apprentice category and then like six or seven veteran, etc. So, yeah. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. I'm starting to get parched. And please believe me when I'm saying I'm trying to go through this quickly because like I said I have a lot but well like I said I'm being I'm being pitted up against people that are in the darkest tier so like I said some bad matchmaking so so yeah and um, I'm looking at some of the trinkets these I'm looking at some of the trinkets these guys are having um they're a lot of them are like they're bonuses to stun percentage like um like, it increases the likelihood of uh, inflicting a stun on you. And for those that don't know, uh, in this game, when you're stunned, that means you lose your next turn. But once that happens, you get 50% stun resistance. So they can't chain it. But the thing of it is, is when you get to around the darkest tier, the kind of equipment that I'm seeing these guys are wearing get, are giving a bonus to stun percentage. So, so probably probably as high as 150 percent so which means the first stun they inflict on you is a guaranteed 100 percent but the the next but the the next turn is going to be a 50 percent chance that they're going to stun you so they could basically stun you two turns in a row so basically they could stun lock you completely shut you out of the game so the moment i see this I get a uh, gems of war sensibilities as I as I started calling it and just bail the fuck out. Very first turn and and then this is one of those game and this is one of those games where you can bail out at any time. I think gems of war works the same way too. You can bail out at any time. That's which is exactly what I did. The moment I see that uh the moment that I see that I'm being pit against somebody from the darkest or even the champion tier. Right on the first turn, right when the game, the coin toss is being flipped to see who goes first, I bail out. I'm not even gonna fucking bother sticking around for that. So, so yeah. But like I said, most of these seven losses that I got were from the, were due to bad matchmaking. Um, there was one that I could think of. He was a, a tier three veteran. He was blue. So I stuck around for that one. I didn't last too long. I think I was down to like one guy, 
while he still had he still had three or he still had three if not all four of his party members up so I just I just bailed out of that I'm fuck that I ain't sticking around for that so like I said it, it the maybe maybe someday in a future update they'll give you like a they'll give you like a filtering option you know where I set filter it to where I only want players around my level and I've said this probably probably yesterday and I've said this in a lot of other places over the years like when back when I was playing MMOs pretty heavily but I will gladly wait forever to get into a good group than to be instituted into a bad one kind of the same thing here I'll wait forever to get you know to get into a get into a matchup with a player around my level than to get instituted from somebody in the darkest here and he's just gonna hand me my ass in a high hat so but uh those two wins though those two wins were well learned those are from those were from some good battles one of them definitely confirmed the other one I think I had a I had three people in my party but two of them were hovering on death's door like um again when you're um and I found this out recently too in this game here when whenever a character hits zero health he's not dead immediately what he has instead is at least a 65% chance of surviving a death blow which can be anything it can be any source of damage even if it's one single point of damage that one point of damage has like a it has a minimum of a 65 no a 35 percent chance of killing you and it can be anything even even damage over time will trigger it so and then i need to go back to something real quick all right i'm gonna go ahead and loop this album in case i go over long So yeah, but yeah, anyway, um in this one battle I had three I had three guys to his one, but like I said, two of my guys were, were on death's door. Like any single hit had a potential of uh killing them. So it so it wasn't like I was steamrolling them. It just every time he would uh every time a DO a DOT would uh would tick on one of my guys, um good RNG would kick in and they'd still be alive. Um, every time with this one guy that he had left over, he would do an AOE attack. Um, good, I'd get some good RNG, RNG, and they'd still be alive, so it wasn't for lack of trying. So, like I said, even this two here was a good battle. So, like I said, it's, it, it's not, a. Uh... oh, how could I explain it? I'll, I'll, I don't I don't want to spend all night trying to trying to think of the right things to say it on this at this moment so I'll just say the for some reason there it is for some reason the the close knockdown drag out battles in gems of war are just not very are are no fun to me I think probably one of the biggest reasons why is uh at least in the PvP portion of gems of war you're not playing a human opponent once again, you're you're playing the team he created, so you're you're fighting an AI. So I'm finding it a lot more enjoyable fighting fighting an actual human opponent than to fight an AI one. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm willing to stick this out. Because like I said, the the matchups that are around my level are fucking epic, but but um matchups against like top tier players. I got no freaking chance. And uh, I think it happened yesterday, too. I just remembered. One of my losses did come from me trying to take on one of these uh, darkest tier groups. I was stunlocked. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. He, uh, I basically, at least two of my players were shut down every turn. It's as if they were dead. So, yeah, that, yeah, it's coming back to me now. So, yeah, this is... So yeah, 
Now, today, I'm just bailing out of these battles, like, immediately. So, yeah, anyway. But anyway, it's like... I want to say there's really... Yeah, I can't... I can't think of the right words, so I'll just say... Bad matchmaking is... There is a major issue in this PvP. In this... Excuse me, in this PvP mode, so... Maybe in a future update... They'll... They'll fix it. Oh, and um... I need to back up a bit. And yeah, speaking of that, I still need a... I still need to play some Gems of War yet. The new weekly PvP league is, has started up again. Um, but then again, with my arm being like it is, I really don't want to have to spend another hour, you know, another hour gaming. You know, because, I mean, Gems of War, not, I mean, it's turn-based, so, so I can actually relax a little bit, but still, that's still a whole lot of, a whole lot of button pressing, so... But anyway, uh, moving right along. Um, and speaking of new uh, weekly leagues, uh, the new FX3 one started up. Um, tables, uh, they're, I want to say mid-tier. The potential is there. I already beat, uh, I beat the high scores on Attack from Mars, um, Junkyard. I came real close to beating the high score in Star Wars. Uh, Return of the Jedi. So, but yeah, um, Junkyard, but uh, but like uh, Attack from Mars and Junkyard, they're one of those where the only rule way, there's only one rule way to get a high, get a decent score on them, but on the upside, doing that isn't that difficult. It wasn't like last week's tables where like, it was like the Ah, uh, Star Wars, the, uh, the, it's, it's a, it's a Sith, Sith themed table. I can't remember the exact name of it, but yeah, you, the only way to get a decent score was to get a skill shot, which is in itself a bitch to do. So, so, overall, slightly easier week this week, but I, I'm out of the red and into the blue, but I'm probably still going to have to do, like, one or two more sessions to try to maintain that. And then, um, I also decided, I also did a pinball arcade session. It was, like, a 15-minute one, like a quickie. Um, after about 15 minutes in, my forearm and, um, my right pointer finger were, were getting pretty sore. So, I had, basically had to call it off. And then, um, Kitaro87, um, one of my regulars, he messaged me on Steam saying the, that there was an actual pinball arcade tournament that happened. Whoops. Definitely missed the boat on that one. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. So, yeah, um... But yeah, I totally missed the boat on it, because in the uh, last two tournaments I did, I took first. So, I I definitely wanted to have another go at this tournament, but like I said, I never even knew about it. I don't think, uh, I don't think Guitaro knew about it either until, until he saw the, uh, until he saw the video on it. Like somebody playing, uh, Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Table. So... This one went went right on right by us. So. Okay, so this one here. I was want, I was wanting to do this uh, a few days ago when it first came out, but as it's been about 20 minutes into this cast, um, I'm not gonna be able to spend the time that I wanted to. Um, from uh, one of my favorite authors, Jessica Wildfire. This one here, I kind of had a 
for lack of a better phrase, a personal stake since uh, Brett Farr was a quarterback for uh, the Minnesota Vikings, um, my home team, despite the fact that I haven't watched football in many years. But yeah, so, so yeah, I kind of took an interest in this. Brett Farr and Donald Trump, but um, normally what I do on these is I just uh, go down the article and just uh, do commentary and stuff. And um, the text might look a little bit scrunchy. So, it just... I tried to full screen it, but it looked it looked even worse than it is now. So I actually had to cut down the screen a little bit just to make it look realistic. But um, I'm on a uh, medium.com, so there's a there's a fair amount of wasted space, like margins, I guess. I try to trim out the margins so so that it makes the uh, text easier to read. So, but like I said, what I usually do on these articles, just go down the line and just do commentary on them. And um, I gotta plug this real quick. So, yeah, greed will do it. It's an addiction. To me, they're millionaires and uh, millionaires and other rich people. They can never have enough. They're just. They're just like crackheads, crackheads, cokeheads, heroin junk, you know, heroin addicts, you know, and other sort of junkies. It's never enough. All the crack in the world, never enough. They got always got to have more. Good old greed for you. Oh, now this is kind of interesting. Take more than one million in speaker fees, and yeah, this is. Probably one of the reasons why I don't do com I haven't done commentary on medium.com as much. Every time I highlight something, a pop-up pops up. So it just really gets in the way. More than one million in speaker fees for speeches that he didn't give. Okay, I gotta look at this. Poor estate used welfare money to pay. Uh. Yeah. And yeah, NBC News. Uh. Hall of Famer Brett Farr on Mississippi welfare scandal. Now, despite the picture, he actually played for the Minnesota Vikings too for some odd years. So, it wasn't just Green Bay that he played for. Okay, but yeah, I got it. But yeah, I just... Just enough to see that. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Isn't it always a misunderstanding? Oops. I tripped and fell and took a million dollars. Although he didn't even agree to pay, but yeah. Got came from a state welfare fund in Mississippi. Yeah. To a professional wrestler. Oh. Uh, I wonder who that professional wrestler was. If that professional wrestler is Jesse Ventura, yeah, I'm definitely looking into that. I'm definitely looking into. The, I'm definitely looking into that. Yeah, it's. Yeah, and she didn't parse this either. But like I said, if it's Jesse Ventura, then yeah, I'm definitely looking into that. I practically idolized him. Jackson residence to even clean drink. I remember reading this in um I didn't read this in the Minnesota paper or anything like that, but I think there was a headline something along these lines. Clean drinking water now. Oh, oh, oh go 
ahead and click it. Jackson, Mississippi are without safe drinking water. Okay, so. The Clarion Ledger. What do you have, clean drinking? Yeah. He didn't know better than to accept a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd call bullshit on that, too. I find it hard to believe he didn't know better than to accept a million dollars or not. And then bailing on some speeches. <laughs> then I remembered he endorsed Trump for president for 2020. In fact, went golfing with the guy. Duh. Okay, so if she's gonna do what I think she's gonna do, she's basically gonna preach to the choir. That choir being me. And then anybody else is watching this. Where a certain type of dude always seems to wind up with money that belongs to someone else. Yup. took money from poor kids as a welfare recipient and um I'm probably gonna have to cut it off here pretty quick yeah cause um my arm's starting to get sore cause once again I, if I remember to I probably, probably should have just grabbed my banana box and you know grab my banana box stick it between the table and the, the couch and prop my arm up but whoops too late now so He only took a million. Paid most of it back and only owes about 200k. Oh, okay. Yup. This is what else. Yup. It's the old. I tripped and fell and got a million dollars. So. No. And this is also, it also goes back to what I said earlier, too. Greed's an addiction. It, no matter how much you got, it's never enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. Yup, it wasn't an athletic endorsement. It wasn't a big university giant organization. It was a little organization. They paid him money to give speeches. He didn't. Read right their contract. You pay them promising something ob obligated. The taxpayer, their students, or some vulnerable group. It's legal theft. And I haven't read too much about Mississippi, but from what little I from what little I gleaned from it all, they're all. It's almost like they're turning into Bangladesh. Like one of the worst countries in the world. Sounds like uh, sounds like Mississippi is heading that way too. Have this misguided idea. Everyone here has it better than the rest of the world. Um, in general, uh, we probably have it better from some places, but not, but not the rest of the world. I mean. Five million Americans live in third world conditions of absolute poverty. Families don't heat or running water. Yup, they don't have stoves. There's pockets of time. Yup, especially in states like Mississippi. It's like I said a few moments ago. It sounds like Mississippi is turning into a Bangladesh. Food deserts. Access to fresh fruits are better. Someone took it. Wealthy people are constantly lecturing the poor about how to live while blaming them for their problems. Yup, and this, to me, this pretty much sums up the whole article right here. 
I mean, greedy people want more, 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 no matter who they fuck over to get it. It's just like, I mean, it's just like drug addicts. I mean, numerous stories abound, you know, of, uh, of, like, meth addicts, like, stealing clothes, stealing, stealing valuables from their relatives and stuff like that, and then going and potting them just so they can get money to feed their habit. I think, um, in the Miles Davis biography that I, that I read a long time ago, he did the same exact thing. He even, uh, legendary jazz musician, Miles Davis, back when he had a heroin addiction. He used to, he used to pimp. He used to pimp women. Um, and he also used to, he used to steal shit. Stole stuff from people and sold it so he can, you know, get the money and support his habit. Wealthy people are the same way, too. So... But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off there. Like I said, my arm's getting sore. So and then I got um I got one more thing I gotta talk about. And then um this week here, um my work week last week um was the same thing. Um 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. I was given I was um given it. Let me rephrase it. I was offered excuse me. I was offered additional hours and I took it. So this week, kinda the same thing. I was um, but the manager at the time that um, offered me the extra hours, it was her very last day with Walmart. So I still had. So I don't, I, I forgot to look, but I don't know if that officially went through or not. Cause like I said, it was her last day at Walmart. She was quitting on that day that she was offering the hours she's um she, i think she's getting a job she's getting a job uh shuffling papers at a high school and unless i'm wrong i think she's actually taking a ten dollar pay cut to do this because uh she hates be she hated her she hated her position at walmart so much like a, a night manager so but any anyway um so this coming week, um, at least from what I was told last last Friday, um, I should be working extra hours this week. But um, Wednesday, eh, I'm gonna be real iffy on, cause I might be up. I might end up calling in on Wednesday just to give my arm that extra day of rest. And then on on that note too, um, tomorrow's stream or I should say tomorrow there may not be a stream at all once again um trying to get trying to uh trying to give my arm some extra rest but uh, ultimately tomorrow it's going to be a judgment call so I don't know I don't but like I said I'll I'll see come tomorrow see how my arm is um see how my um and I, I don't I don't want to go too in detail on this right now, but uh, if it's quote unquote safe for me to call in on Wednesday, I'll do it. But like I said, I'll I'll have to hash all of this out tomorrow. So, and then, and I'm very sorry if uh, people are getting sick and tired of hearing this, but um, and this is also one of the reasons why. For those that don't know, I've been looking into D and D more and more, um, and I think I've said this in other cast videos. I'll go ahead and say it here, but it seems that uh, the days of uh, long form gaming, um, especially ga especially intense gaming like like pinball, cook, serve, delicious, you know, games where it's just really intense with a controller or a mouse and keyboard, those days I think are coming to an end. Because my, my arms and hands, they just can't really do it anymore. I mean, given the, uh, you know, I mean, given the uh, arm situation that I got now, as well as, uh, as well as my hands starting to hurt when playing, uh, when playing pinball and stuff. But yet, I still want to do, I still want to do some kind of uh, RPG gaming. You know, so I've been looking into, like, actual tabletop D&D &D more and more. 
So, like, and it's, so, I mean, I, I, you know, I still want to do some kind of long-form gaming, but like I said, the, the days of doing it, like, act, like, playing actual video games, those, playing those for long periods, they're, I think I'm approaching the end of the road on those, so. So, but yeah. Now, am I gonna just uh, drop everything in life and go look for a, go look for a, a D and D group to play in? No, but you know if there was um, you know if I saw, for lack of a better word, a lucrative, a lucrative offer. Again, I can't think of a better word right now, but or if something that was really suitable, I might actually take it up. So. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I've gone about 36 minutes in. And if I remember to, this is something else I keep I keep forgetting to do on all my other cast videos. Timestamps. Um, if I can remember to, because this video has gone so long, um, I'll go ahead and I'll try to add some timestamps in here. You know, little links in the description. You can just click them and they'll take you to whatever time I have set. But uh, some other, uh, a lot of other content creators that I've seen do it too. They'll uh, make timestamps in the description. And you can just click on those to, so you can jump around to whatever you want. So, again, if I can remember to do this, I'll do it. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for dropping in and, or thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And then, um, again, my work week has started up. So, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... And if, if I go in on Wednesday, like I said, it's up in the air right now. But, um, but if I do, if I do, if I do come in, then it won't be until Sunday morning when, um, when I'll be doing my next cast video. If I do call in tonight on Wednesday, or I should say if I do call in tomorrow, it's 11.47 p.m. right now. But if I do call in on Wednesday night, then I'll probably do another cast on there. But if I do come into work, then you won't be hearing from me until Sunday morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.